Hello and welcome back guys. Today we will be studying about seed dormancy. So these are the few topics that we will be, we will be covering in this video. First one is definition, then causes, then types, methods of breaking seed dormancy, treatments to break dormancy in seeds and last one is importance of seed dormancy. So without wasting much more time let's start. First of all we will be studying about what is seed dormancy. What does that word mean? Seed dormancy is a condition in which seeds are unable to germinate even in conditions that are ordinarily favorable for their germination. Means the condition which are supposed to be uh, favorable for the seeds. In that conditions also the seed is not germinating. The favorable conditions for germination of seed include appropriate light, water, temperature, gases, mechanical constraints, seed coverings and hormone structures. Dormancy is a stage in the life cycle of a seed during which its development, growth and numerous other physical activities are temporarily stopped. It is the state of slow growth of seeds or other plants caused by internal factors. It is also known as the rest period. So seed dormancy, in this state the growth of the seed becomes slow or the other plant organs grow slowly which can be caused by some internal factors or external factors. Now this period of time in which the seed is showing slow growth, this is known as the rest period. Now what are the causes of it? There are certain major causes for seed dormancies like light temperature, hard seed coat, period before after ripening, germination inhibitors, immaturity of the seed embryo, impermeability of seed coat to water, to oxygen, mechanically resistant seed coat, presence of high concentrate solute. So, so any of them can be the reason for seed dormancy. Next we have the types. There are three types of seed dormancy, induced, innate and enforced. These were uh, been recognized by Harper. Harper, a scientist, uh, recognized these types of seed dormancy in 1977. In um, The first one we have is induced dormancy. When a seed has consumed water but is placed in severely unfavorable germination conditions, it enters induced dormancy. Means the seed is supposed to germinate but we are placing the seed in water so that we are providing it unfavorable conditions now if we are providing it unfavorable conditions the seed will not germinate so we are providing it unfavorable conditions now so the this kind of dormancy is known as induced dormancy then even when the seed is put in more favorable conditions the seed fails to germinate means once we have the we have induced dormancy in the seed it cannot regain it cannot germinate further even when the favorable conditions are given the next kind of dormancy is innate dormancy. It is the condition of seed that are incapable of germinating despite the presence of conditions suitable for the growth of the seedling. In some species, this inability to germinate might be attributed to the embryo being immature at the time of dispersal. So what is happening in innate dormancy? In this dormancy, the seed is not able to germinate even if the favorable conditions are present for its growth. So because it is not able to germinate from the beginning, it can be due to the premature embryo uh, or uh, when we are when the embryo is when the seed is getting dispersal the embryo is immature it can be a reason for innate dormancy so this is innate dormancy the next one we have is enforced dormancy so the name is indicating its meaning the seeds that are unable to germinate due to various environmental constraints such as lack of appropriate moisture light oxygen and proper temperature so we are enforcing that dormancy these were the three types of dormancy, induced, innate and enforced. Next we have is methods of breaking seed dormancy. The methods of breaking seed dormancy can be natural methods which means the seed dormancy is breaking naturally and it can be artificial method also. In natural method, nature of dormancy stops when the embryo gets an appropriate environment such as adaptive moisture and temperature. The seed coat that exists in many species become permeable due to rupturing of the smoothening action of natural agents like microorganisms, temperature and abrasion by the digestive tract of birds and animals that feed on these seeds. Other natural methods include completion of the overripening period, leaching of inhibitors present in the seed coat, inactivation of inhibitors by the supply of cold heat and light, leaching of the excess and highly concentrated solutes from the seed, Production of growth hormones which can neutralize the effect of inhibitors. So these are some common factors which can lead to seed dormancy. Now these factors are happening themselves. We are not doing anything. We are not playing any part in inducing these kind of dormancy. So these are the natural methods of breaking seed dormancy. 
द नेक्स्ट वन वी हैव इज आर्टिफिशियल ब्रेकिंग ऑफ सी डॉर्मेंसी नो हाउ आर्टिफिशियली मीन्स हाउ वी कैन प्ले अ रोल इन ब्रेकिंग द डॉर्मेंसी ऑफ सीड्स इट कैन बी द ब्रेकिंग ऑफ सीड डॉर्मेंसी कैन बी वैक्सीज सर्फेस इनहिबिटर्स एंड अदर सब्सटांसिस आर टर्मिनेटेड विद हॉट वाटर मीन्स वी आर अप्लाइंग सर्फेस इनहिबिटर्स और सम वैक्सीज अलॉन्ग विद हॉट वाटर इट कैन ब्रेक द सीड डॉर्मेंसी एंड द सीड विल जर्मिनेट सीथ कोटिंग्स आर रप्चर्ड बाई वेरियस सेपरेशन टेक्निक्स सच एज फाइलिंग चिपिंग और थ्रेशिंग इन मशीन्स बिकॉज वी वर सेंग ड्यू टू हार्ड सीड कोट द सीड इज एनेबल टू जर्मिनेट इन सम केसेज सो इन दोज केसेज वॉट वी कैन डू इज वी कैन ब्रेक द सीड कोट इट कैन बी ड्यू टू फाइलिंग चिपिंग और थ्रिपिंग थ्रेशिंग सॉरी सो दीज मेथड्स कैन बी यूज टू ब्रेक द सीड कोट सो दैट सीड कैन जर्मिनेट डिपेंडिंग ऑन द टाइप ऑफ डॉर्मेंसी ऑफ सीड इट मे बी एक्सपोज टू हीट कोल्ड और लाइट मीन्स आफ्टर नोइंग द फैक्ट दैट वाई द सीड इज नॉट जर्मिनेटिंग वी कैन एक्सपोज इट टू डिफरेंट टेम्परेचर्स लाइक इफ द सीड नीड हाई टेम्परेचर वी कैन प्रोवाइड इट हीट इफ इट नीड्स कोल्ड टेम्परेचर वी कैन प्रोवाइड इट लो टेम्परेचर सो वी कैन नो द टाइप ऑफ डॉर्मेंसी एंड देन वी कैन टू द ट्रीटमेंट अकॉर्डिंगली नेक्स्ट इज हाइड्रोलिटिक प्रेशर इज अप्लाइड फॉर फाइव टू ट्वेंटी मिनट्स टू वेकन द सीड स्ट्रॉन्ग सीड कवरिंग्स वी आर अप्लाइंग द प्रेशर हेयर टू रिमूव द रेमनेंट्स ऑफ द मिनरल एसिड सीड कोड्स आर ट्रीटेड विद स्ट्रॉन्ग सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड नाउ सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड दिस एसिड इज यूज टू ब्रेक द सीड कोड this is a mineral acid and acid will break the seed coat obviously because this is a very strong acid so it can break the seed coat of a seed and that will lead to germinate these were some artificial methods of breaking seed dormancy next is treatments to break seed dormancy in seeds these are the treatments uh, in the uh, slide before this one we were knowing about the methods of breaking seed dormancy artificial and natural methods now these are the treatments that we have to do for breaking the seed dormancy treatment of the seed coat matlab hum uh, seed coat par kya treatment kar sakte hain by weakening or shattering a hard seed coat these treatments make the seed permeable to water or gases scarification is the term for this procedure chemical or physical therapeutic options are also available means by weakening or shattering a hard seed coat means if the seed coat is hard we can expose it to different temperatures or different uh, environment like cold hot light whatever the requirement is and it will make the seed permeable to water or other gases and once it is permeable to other we can it can uh, break its dormancy and lead to germination scarification is the term which is used for this process the next method is treatment of for embryos Stratification is the process of incubating seeds at a low temperature over a moist layer before shifting them to a temperature that is conducive to germination. Temperature, uh, high temperature treatment for breaking seed dormancy. In this, incubation is done at forty to fifty degrees Celsius for a few hours to a few days. May help some species overcome dormancy. So the temperature for incubation and the time period for incubation depends on the kind of species we are having. the kind of seed we are having for example rice seeds these are soaked in hot water for at least 4 hours at 40 degrees celsius treatment with chemicals induced germination growth regulators can be made from plant growth regulators or other substances induced germination growth regulators these can be made from plant growth regulators these were the treatments to break dormancy in seeds next we have its importance what is the importance of seed dormancy the dormancy will allow the seed to survive in the soil for several years this ensures a steady supply of new plants even after the older plants of the area have died off due to various natural calamities it promotes the preservation of seeds for later use by the animals and humans the desert plant benefits greatly from the dormancy produced by from the seed coat dormancy allows the seed to remain suspended without injury during cold or hot summer temperatures as well as during drought so they can manage their conditions well when dormancy is there they can uh, you know they can uh, enhance themselves more better to the environment after dormancy so these were some importance of seed dormancy you are not restricted to only these importances these are the few common that are that i have listed in this video so if you want to know more you can search it on google or internet 
anywhere else also but i think these are sufficient for you so i hope you like the video and if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel thanks for watching